much indeed. Thank you so much. You're most kind. Welcome to our studio audience and to all you people at home on this Sunday afternoon. Oh, it's... Uh, oh, yeah, I've forgotten about this. Oh, you're watching a special show because we have awards every year for all, all the game shows which are transmitted all, all over the network. And, and you know by now there are hundreds. I mean, you've seen them all. They're on all the time, aren't they? But they have awards, and it's the, these are the envelopes for the awards. You know that for films they're called Oscars? Well, these are the Bruces. <laughs> the Bruces, see? And this is the, uh, the award for the best use of period costume. <laughs> oh. Jim but who, who said that? Period cost. That's cruel, that's wicked, that. There's another one here. Oh, this will be the one. The best presenter of a British game show involving darts, a bull, and general knowledge. Oh, this is it. Hey, I've got this now. Tony Green? What are you talking about? <laughs> I do that. Thank you, my lovelies, my darlings, my adoring public, but really, I'm not worthy of this. It's for the people around me, my producer, my director. Car park attendant, security, hey, every, everyone. Hey, you've gone baff to you. Let's get on with the game. <laughs> Talking about that. <laughs> Doing all that. <laughs> hey, all nice and settled. Hi, right, Gerald, nice Hello. to see you. Hello. Nice to see you, Gary. Hello. Welcome to Nottingham. Right, you're from Middlesbrough, Gerard, and you're an ex-archaeologist's assistant. That's right. How did how do you qualify for that then? I mean, did you did you go to university? Didn't you? Well, it was a job you could dig. No, no university. I just took holes and they told me what was in them. Are you not one of those, those nutters with the brushes? Are you? And the trowel. Really, and the trowel. Really? trowel. Trips, spend out. <laughs> you crackers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you're not all that crackers because you're a voluntary DJ and you do a lot of hospital radio work, right? That's right. Yeah. Um, and your friend Gary, how are you, Gary? Welcome to the welcome to the show. What's he say? He says you're not as bald as he thought you were, guy, Jim. <laughs> What's he saying? No, you, it's, oh, it's this R, you see? No, you see, I saying. didn't quite realise that. Gary, welcome to the show. Thank you for coming. We've got to tell you at home, you probably realise by now that Gary can't hear. Now, Gary, can you tell me, have you been deaf since you were born? Have you been deaf all your life? You've never, ever heard a sound? Never. Never. Now, there you are at home, so we, we do get, we do research and... Anybody in any situation at all can apply and come on bullseye. I find that difficult to, to understand, actually, never having... You have a lovely story about him, actually. There's a light, light-hearted side to this. He's a bit of a hooligan, is this, Gary, I'll tell you. Tell us a story about... He used to box, didn't he? He used to box when he was younger, Listen that's right. Go on, tell us. Why did because, he stop? Because he was deaf and he, sometimes he couldn't hear the bell and he'd carry on fighting when they're around him. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night. Brilliant to see you both. Give him a round of applause. Good lad. Nice to see you, big man. Good lad. How are you, Trevor? Nice Trevor, to see you. you. Hi, Robert. Welcome. You've travelled, well, not too far to be with us, from St Ives in Cambridge. You're a science teacher, is that right, Trevor? That's right. Are you, are you secondary school, Trevor? Secondary, yes. Secondary. Mm. What do you do, Trevor, in your spare time? Oh, I go weight training, I shoot pistols, I uh, study a form of kung fu called Lao Ga. Lao Ga. Lao Ga. That sounds like a racehorse, that. Um, <laughs> what's la what is it, Lao Ga? What, uh, it's, what do you it's, it's use? Kung fu. We train and that we use pads and... We actually go in for hitting each other. Don't hit him, because he won't be able to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying well away. Keep well away, Sandy, lad. He's a big lad, isn't he, Gary? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> thanks for coming, Robert. You're an electronics engineer. That's right. And you're both into this... Tell me about this... Well, the first, uh, f first wedding anniversary very soon. Let's get that in. What, can you remember your wife's name? Yes, Beverly. <laughs> Beverly, you're doing it on one. Say, go on, say, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Beverly. Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you answering the questions or throwing the dart? He's throwing the darts. He's throwing the darts, you see. You can see why. I can't remember his wife's name. There you go. All right, have a good night with us, boys. Thanks for coming to see us. We move on. How are you, Charlie? All right, Jim. Welcome Thanks. to the studios. And Terry, Hello, nice Jim. to see you, boys. You're from... Oh, I know you're in Kent. I know you it well. Oh, I used to stay in Dartford. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, and, and Dag you're, in da you're from Dagenham, Terry? Yes. Well, as long as you've got your health, as we said earlier. <laughs> um, have a good night with us. Six great contestants. Give them a warm round of improvement. Very well done. Good. Off you go. Let's play it again. Come on. Let's do it. Excellent. Excellent. Right. We get on with them now. Here are the questions. Over there, we have the people who have the art of throwing. Over there, the people who have the art of knowing. <laughs> right, let's remind you at home, questions in the first round are worth £30 each. Let's get on with the game of Bullseye. Jared for Gary. Spelling, please, Jim. Spelling, please, Gary. Spelling. Well, he we went for Bullseye, it's showbiz. Showbiz, not a problem. At this stage, absolutely right to go for the bull. 
In which James Bond film did Shirley Eaton appear spread all over in gold paint? Goldfinger, Jim. Goldfinger, when it really was exciting to watch paint dry. Very good. <laughs> Move on. Trevor for Robert. Could I have words, please, Jim? We'll do our best for you, uh, Trev. Words, please. That is the bullseye! Two hundred pounds! Well played. Well played. For 30 pounds, Trevor. For 30 pounds, what is a linguist skilled at doing? Uh, speaking different languages. Absolutely right, sir. Foreign languages, fine. Charlie for Terry. Uh, faces, please, Jim. Terry, faces, please. 50. 50 pounds you have. For a further 30 pounds, Charlie, first go at that. You have a look at your monitors, all of you. But you, Charlie, if you don't tell me who that is, you're in terrible trouble. Oh, I... You know it. Leslie Grant. Of course. Don't you start giving me headaches like that. <laughs> Absolutely right. In the lead with £230 at the end of round one. Well, with the bullseye, it's got to be Robert and Trevor. We move on now to round two. Questions worth £50 each. A little more difficult, and the categories are starting to go. So again, Jared for Gary. History, please, Jim. History, please, Gary. History. That's the bullseye! Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh. Got some bottle there going for the bull with those categories gone. Well played, well played there, Gary. For a further £50 for you, Jared, which two British airmen were the first to fly non stop across the Atlantic? Alcock and Brown. Right, there's a gag about it, but we can't do it. Carry on. <laughs> Trevor for Robert, choose a subject. Uh, places, please. Jim. Places we'd like, Robert. Now, nice and steady, please. Settle down again. 50. For a further £50, pounds, Trev, the capital of southern Holland is also the seat of the Dutch government. What is it? The Hague. The Hague is right, sir. Don't be vague. The answer's Hague. Right. Do you remember that commercial? That's going back some years, isn't it? I'm only 36. Charlie... <laughs> ch Charlie for Terry. Sport, please, Jim. Sport, we'd like Terry. Well, it's in showbiz and the subject's gone, I'm afraid. Ooh, now. Right, all right. In the lead at the end of round two, Trevor and Robert, with £330 still there, we move on to round three, where the questions are worth £100 each, so still anybody's game, and, of course, they do get more difficult, but look at the subjects. Almost all of them isolated. Sport, affairs, books, Britain and spelling. So, for the last time on this board, choose a subject, Gerard, for Gary. Britain, please, Jim. Britain, please, Gary. Britain... Yeah. Well, he went for ball, is it? Books and the subject's there. The subject's still there. Good gracious me, how fortunate that was. For £100 on books, Gerard, one of the world's major collections of English books and manuscripts is in a library at Oxford University. What is the name of that library? The Bodleian Library, Jim. Good man, that was a perfect question for you, sir, wasn't it? Well done. £380 you've got, well played. We move on. Trevor for Robert. Uh, Britain, please. Britain with like, please, Robert. Okay, Robert. Take your time. Well, that's in spelling. The subject's there. <sighs> still there for you, so you're still in. You're still in, Trevor. It's spelling for a school teacher. I don't want to put the pressure on you here, Trevor, but <laughs> all your class will be watching you and all the people you teach when I ask you to spell for £100 silhouette, meaning a shaded outline. Take your time. S I L H O U E double T E. I'll check it with bully. S I L H O U E T T E. It's correct, sir. I hope your children can spell us that because they should be teaching them spelling at school now. That's what they should be doing. <laughs> right. Charlie? Sport again, please. All right. <laughs> Come on, now tell. Check your time. Sport. Yes, 30. Good thing. 30 pounds you got. That's the way to play it at this stage. You've still gained two. For another 100 pounds, Charlie, for sport, which team is nicknamed the Seagulls? Oh, it's Brighton, Jim. Brighton and Hove Algon, about 70 miles from where you live, isn't it? £210. Let's have a look at it. £210 for Charlie, £380 for Gary and Gerard, but in the lead at the moment, as we go to game two, Trevor and Robert with £430. Well played. <laughs> All right. We move on. Game two, where we ask the two dart players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other to win for their partners a question, and the value of that question is the winning score. All to play for as we go to Bully's prize board. Pounds for points, over to Tony. OK, Gary. It's one. 
five. And treble, 20. Good recovery, 66. Well done. All right. 66, Robert. 20. 20. Another 20, 60. Consistent. Well done. And it's 66 to beat. That's one. 20. Another one, 22. So, with 66, Gary takes the first round. Gerard, this would take you into the lead if you can tell me this. For £66, which composer wrote the Moonlight Sonata? Beethoven, Jim. Beethoven gives you £66 and you're in the lead with £446. Back to Tony. OK, Gary. Second round. Treble 20. Five. And 20, 85. Well done. That's going well. Okay. 85. 5. Twenty. And 20, that's 45. So Terry, 85 to beat. That's one. Treble 20. All went for the bullets. Five. It's 66. So the second round to Gary with 85, Jim. This could take you nicely away, Gerard. It's worth £85 to you, sir. Which Norwegian explorer and anthropologist sailed across the Pacific on the Contiki? Thor Heyerdahl, Jim. Thor Heyerdahl gives you £85. You're looking at £531. You're in the lead as we're going to round three of game two. Back to Tony. Right you are, Gary. Final round. 20. Treble five. And treble 20, 95. You've done very well. Well done. Well done. 95, Robert. 20. One. And five, 26. Very unlucky. 95 is the score, Terry. Treble 20. One. And 20, 81, but with 95, it's Gary who takes the final round, Jim. I've got to say, Jerry, you made a fi fine team, the two of you. For 95 pounds, you're guaranteed a place on Bullish Prize Board because you can't be caught whatever happens. So here we go, the pressure's off you now, and, it's, and I'm delighted for you both. To the ancient Greeks, who was the god of the sea? Be careful. To the ancient Greeks. Poseidon, Jim. I thought you'd have gone for Neptune. In fact, it is Poseidon. Gives you £95, which means with £626, it's Jared and Gary through to Bullish Bull Prize Board. Well done. Excellent. <clears throat> means, just for the moment, we've got to say cheerio with £430, Robert and Trevor, and £210, Terry and Charlie, four great contestants. In you come, boys. We've got to say cheerio for now to you. In you come. Well played. Well played. You've got a lot of money. You're OK. What have you got? 430. That's all right. 430 pounds and 210 pounds. That's not bad at all. It's worth you coming, whatever happens. Please keep your eye on the game because the way the boys are going, they're going to be faced with a difficult decision in the second half, which will be in two minutes. Come back and see us. We don't want to... The bullseye where our two lads here, Jared and Gary, have won £626, and it's going to a charity we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, how's this young man performed for you? Excellent. Hasn't he? Been job. brilliant. Very good. Yeah. Right, it's uh, bronze bully time now, where we ask the dark player to score 301 or more for charity. If you can do that, we'll double it and give it to a very dear charity, uh, or I should have said a charity which is very dear to Jared and Gary's hearts. And we've got a gentleman throwing for us tonight, professional hooligan. Um, used to be a drinker. But has seen the light, has now reformed, and just smokes a lot. <laughs> Will you please welcome country and western star, the rhinestone cowboy, Bob Anderson. <laughs> Thank you. That was a bit of a send up, Bob. Still settle into it now. Best of luck. These for real. Treble 20. 20. 
And treble 20, 140. You've got it. You're there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, stay cool. Twenty. Twenty. And twenty, sixty. Still, it's two hundred, Bob. Nearly there. Double twenty. One. Yeah. And five. Sixty six. Trying so hard, wasn't it? Trying so hard. Two six six. Well done, Matt. Well done. Come on, big boy. Nice to see you. Thank you, Jim. Oh, we thought you were there then. We thought you were there. Yes. Nice to see you. Well, okay. the gears, they told us cool, isn't it? Smooth, that. Yeah, that's right. Tell us about this uh, criminal record, then. I, you must have heard it. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, I want the viewers to hear it as well, because yeah, it's, the, uh, it's the other side of you. It, it goes side. back a long time. A chap who used to play darts with me in Swindon um, actually turned out to be... A, he disappeared completely. Yeah. And he turned up in New York writing songs for Debbie Harry and yep. one or two other people. Yep. Trogs. Really? I'll take you back. Yeah, and, uh, trogs, yeah. and he wrote this. He just phoned me up out of the blue from Long Island and he said, I I've written a song and I want you to do it. And I, <laughs> are you, you, are you extracting song, the yeah. Michael? Yes, sir. And yes. he, he, he said, well, you used to sing on the coach when we went to darts matches. That's true. <laughs> and I said, well, that's true. And uh, we went to studio and uh, they decided they want to go ahead with it. So. so they recorded all the tracks? Mm, yeah. Slave cover? Oh, yes. All done? Absolutely. Where's the record now? It's uh, still in the studio at the moment. But, uh, Why is that, Bob? Well, uh, there's a bit of a problem with the producer at the moment. <laughs> which, I know the uh, feeling. I'll tell you about later on, Jim. <laughs> but the man, is, he's doing a Lord Lucan. Uh, sort of, we, yes. we can't find him, can we? No, no. <laughs> seven million records waiting to be yeah. sold. Did he do yours as well? Yes, he did. Yeah. As well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for £266, Bob. We've got two great characters here. Where's the money yeah. going, Jared? It's going to the care of people with Alzheimer's disease and medicine. Brilliant. Brilliant. That'll be on its way straight at the end of the, of the programme. Bob, I know you want to wish him all the best. Certainly Watch do. this guy, he's a hooligan, right? Good all luck. the very yeah, best. All the best. Good Thanks, luck, Rob. You're good always luck. welcome on Bullseye. Pleasure Thank to you, see Jim. you. Thanks Give him a wave on the way out. Thanks, Certainly. Bob. Bob Anderson. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> right. Whoa, now then. Easy. Easy. Let's see what Bullish Prize Board has got for you tonight. One. Sing along a Max. Well, it couldn't be any worse. With this karaoke machine. In two. A computer games console for kids who are serious about fun. In three. Now it's never too late to listen to this clock radio. In four. Rock around the clock in this lovely pine rocking chair. In five. Keep your distance, but still work out what's going on with these precision binoculars. In six. Bully for you. In every room, with this portable television. In seven. If you like it hot in bed, you'll love this stylish tease maker. In eight. Bags this one, three of them actually, a smart set of matching luggage. And Bully's special prize. More programmes than ITV, and all with a happy ending on this automatic washing machine. There we are. <laughs> Bye, boys. Nine prizes. Nine. Keep out of the black in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. All right. First three for you. Do your best. Remember, bullish star prize. There, special prize if you want it. Take your time. Off you go. It's black. Black. I'm black again. Ooh. Three black. Right, take your time. Plenty of time. No problem. No problem. There. Don't rush it, Gerard. All right. Just take your time. That's black. Red, number two. Fine. Oh, that's okay. That's the Sega C Computer Games Console. And red number seven. Well, you're well done. Back. That's the tease made. Well played, boys. Two on three and three left, so you're okay. You can still do nicely. Black. But that's red. It's number seven and it's gone lucky. It's, gone. it's already been won. And now lost. And 
black. Let's have a look at what you've won. The Sega Games console, and you've won and lost the tees made. Now that's, well, it's, that's a little bit of a, not a disaster, but it's, you could have done perhaps, as we say at school, could do better. But we understand all about that, don't we? You know the ground rules. You're 266 pounds, that's safe, and that's off to its Alzheimer's, uh, to aid the, uh, the Centre for Alzheimer's, that's not a problem. But you've still got a fairly hefty decision to make because you've won 626 pounds. And, of course, your games console. Behind Bully's curtain there is a lovely prize. You can gamble the money and the prize for tonight's star prize, or you can take the money and your bullies and tankers and darts and run. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. If you don't do it, you get BFH, bus fare home. What do you think? Tell us. What do you think? Now then, Gary, Gary's looked at his girlfriend. What do you, what do you, what, you, one of you, what do you think? Have a chat. <laughs> you gamble. decide. Gamble. You're going to go for it. Yeah. You go first, all right. And then you, Gary. Sit your mate and go. Sit your mate. Now, loads of time. Plenty of time. Go on. Remember what we said, don't rush into do it. it. Just take your time. We dearly love you to win. All right, best of luck. 101 and more for tonight's star prize. Treble 11, good star. That's nine. And 14. You've done very well. You've got 56, Gerard. Well done. Six. Seven. Forty-five. All right? Yes, he's got it. Forty-five. So it's 45. Gary's well aware what's left and what he needs. 45 and more. 20. 20. And 20! Hey! Yeah! <laughs> look at this. Have a look at what you've won. Have a look at it. It's a wonderful holiday for four in Malaysia on the exotic island of Penang. Penang, the pearl of the Orient, and a great place to sample the East's hidden delights. While others bear the load, you can explore the busy outdoor markets, free from transport problems. Try this for size. Or how about a night at the opera? You will find peace and quiet in Penang, and it's all yours for the throw of a dart. Well, I do. We, uh, well, what can I say? Absolutely brilliant. You've won £626. I'm going to give you that. That's to spend on holiday. Yeah. Right, there's your money. Oh, no, it's not. I've got to keep that because it's in there. Your money's... I got no. a bit confused. You started shouting at me. There. Tankards, bullies, £626. You can take the games machine with you to play on the flight across, all right? No fighting when you get out there. No boxing, right? None of that. We're absolutely thrilled to bits for you. You've given us a lot of pleasure today, and the viewers at home, oh, I'm sure, will be over the moon at your success. Thanks very much for watching Bullseye on this Sunday. Thanks to Tony and Bob Anderson. Nice to see Big Bob back with us. Yeah. Yes, why not? Well done, Bob. Always a pleasure. Bob's delighted for these two guys. We've just... We've had a marvellous Sunday afternoon. We hope you've enjoyed it at home. Thanks for watching Bullseye. Watch us next week. Every week's different. You can't beat a bit of bully, can you? Top chances.